Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Walt Ribeiro, and I started a company that's called ForOrchestra.com. Uh, basically, I take pop songs and I arrange them for orchestra. But this presentation isn't about that. It's about this. It's about, um, there we go. It's about love, okay? Because um, that's the one thing that drives us, okay? And it's about the idea that everything in life is a full circle. So life is about love and passion, and love and passion is much better when you're living a, a great life. So this is what it all comes back to, um, you know, that everything that I think about, I think about like the like orchestra and, you know, music, because it means everything to me, and I'm sure that it means a lot uh, to people here too. You know, like just, you know, like the idea is that how like music, uh, you know, can just like begin to like change us. But here's the problem, is that the orchestra is dead, and how can we bring it back? Uh, this is a chart of all of the main orchestral works that are performed, and every one of these composers are dead, okay? <laughs> and that's a huge flaw, because, uh, you know, Beethoven and, and Mozart already had their due, and now it's time for, you know, something innovative. And so how can we bring orchestral, how can we bring orchestral music back? And um, I think I figured it out, is that orchestras are basically just cover bands. That's it. So we're at a point now where, where an orchestra is a Beethoven cover band. And that's a really bad thing because cover bands uh, have diminishing returns. And uh, so could you imagine going through your entire life where every movie theater in the entire world played the same 50 uh, films at every movie theater? That tomorrow we can go see Saturday Night Fever. But these are old movies that are all dead. And it just felt like that we were all on the wrong uh, you know, bus that we were all going in the wrong direction uh, and that if it was the right direction, then we had no way of you know, where we were you know, gonna like, end at. So, um, so we're at this point now, years later, this is when I'm in college, and uh, you know, all of these orchestras are going out of business, whatever, and here, I actually used to work here at the Philadelphia Orchestra, and on my birthday six weeks ago, uh, they went bankrupt, so it's a pretty bad birthday present, but so all this starts to happen, the orchestras start to have this fallout, and, uh, you know, and now music education is getting slashed from schools, so if future violin players can't learn music education, how can they learn the future music works that are gonna bring back the orchestra? And so, I'm starting to look at this entire world is that, how did this possibly happen? Orchestras are a world where people donate millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars every day in order just to keep it growing, keep it alive, keep it growing, okay? And so then I started to set out to do something about it. There's me, uh, you know, writing my, writing my music. I released a CD a couple of years ago, and uh, I was like, okay, well, I want to be this new music to kind of bring it back. Uh, I released it, and it failed horribly. It was a, it was a huge mistake. Well, I mean, it was a good thing, but then... Uh, jo uh, but then Jonathan Colton was, is a musician who releases his music uh, via Creative Commons. So I took his music and I arranged it for an orchestra because my music obviously wasn't selling. I released it and it was a huge hit and I go, oh my God, this is it. This is how we bring back new orchestral music. So I started releasing like Lady Gaga, MGMT, Michael Jackson, all this stuff. And then, and then it, became huge, it became like a like huge hit. And then I said, well, this is it. Is that the orchestra is not dead, Beethoven's dead. That's the problem. And so then everyone started to like get back to me. Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter, Perez Hilton, uh, Neil Gaiman, all these, these other people really started to like connect with it. Um, and so then I slowly grew it a little bit at a time. And then my friend Gabe had mentioned to me about this, um, about this thing that's called El Sistema, which is, uh, you know, started all this like Venezuelan music. And this is the youngest uh, youth orchestra in the world, and they're, all, and, they're, and they're also the best orchestra in the world. And so new music, new things, and so how do we fix it? Well, the way that we fix it is that we innovate, okay? Because music is love, and that when you have passion, and that when you innovate, then these things are gonna help you fight wars. Because there's all war inside of, of each and every one of us. And so, um, you know, wars were actually fought over love. And so you have to think about, is there a war that you want to fight tomorrow? And if there is, you wake up the first thing tomorrow morning and you fight that war first thing tomorrow morning. Because music, like all things in life, are worth fighting for. And, uh, you know, I just think that at the end of all things, um, because it's a full circle, that we always begin where we started. And it all comes back to this guy, love. Thank you. Thank you.